hoping if people can yeah. not watch the lives and stuff so um, that way no i'm gonna turn um, off all of yeah, my stuff on. baby mm -hmm. okay cool okay. Um, i'm not wrong I'm turning my phone sit on this too? Oh, yeah. Oh, if that's all. I am, Sorry. just just for this. Okay, so Lisa, I'm going to step out, if that's okay. So let you guys, I'm going to help get some other stuff together. Those two cameras are on the stairs. On the stairs? Yeah, okay. just hang in there. Just go ahead and grab them and put them on now. Okay. So, so we're not Lisa, getting you in the phone right? Okay. Just, so just this way. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do uh, uh, just a telephone call or however yeah. she wants to do it. Okay. Um, so okay. we're gonna have you talk to Lisa, um, the psychic medium who did the virtual last night. I know you w were wanting to do that too. Um, she's only got 30 minutes, okay. but, um, but Dr. Darren will be aware of that. And well, I, I, I just curious to hear, yeah. just curious to hear, okay. um, uh, anything she might have said. Mm -hmm. Before you do that, is this grandpa? I think that's my granddaddy's this, family. Yeah, this is granddaddy's. It's not my it's not granddaddy. granddaddy. This no. is. I, there's a picture of my granddaddy on the on the stair stairs. Wall. He has a bow on his head. Okay. Yeah, it's like in the bottom middle. And I'll you ask can you take about it off of that. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey Lisa, so we're ready if you're all ready to go. Yep, you just want to FaceTime me? Is that what we're gonna do? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Oh. Okay. All right, let me reposition then. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you in a second. Okay. Okay, bye. Hmm? Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm going to give you a shout out. How you doing? Yeah, I function much better on this side of the camera than I do on that side of the mm -hmm. camera. Hey, what's happening? Hello. <laughs> Here, let me let me get in a spot where you can... Uh, it's not uh, getting that glare from the... We, we can shut that. Oh, okay. You want me to shut that? We can turn on the light? Yeah. Here, if we turn it up, the light will be gone. There we go. The light be gone. All right, we're all ready to go. Mm -hmm. all right. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? My name's Mandy. Miranda is Mandy. my. Miranda. I, yeah. Okay. And is the reading just for you? Um, I mean. Uh, yeah, Lisa. There are uh, five people in the room. Um, and we're okay. live broadcasting. And live broadcasting. And we're live pro broad broadcasting right now. Okay. But they can't see. They can't see you. They can just see me pointing a uh, phone at at uh, Mandy. Yeah. Mandy? Not, not, uh, directly, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Okay. So, for everybody in the room, um, anyone in spirit can come through for anybody in the room since we're all together. Yeah. Okay? I don't get to choose, so if it doesn't make sense to you, Mandy, it could be for someone else that's in that room. Are the other people who live in the home with you in the room with you as well? Because I can only see you. My wife is, is sitting in the room, but she doesn't like being on camera. So okay. I, I think I'm the only active participant. Well, could she, could she, I pointed at you, because this is just, this Yeah, you is can just paint it phone. around just so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Just right. so she can. Okay. I'm the wife. Okay. <laughs> That's, I'm Crystal. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. And that's their uh, family friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, the camera person. The camera person. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm the intern. <laughs> okay. You want me to take the camera and let her see you? <laughs> yeah, you can do that now. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh no, yes, yeah. Now you gotta do it. Yeah. yeah. See yeah. how this is all working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. stuff to each other. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I think I know. Do you understand the use and potential abuse 
of alcohol or substances prior to his passing? Yes. Okay. All right. And he's immediately telling me, I also feel like there's depression as well. I feel like a sense of overwhelm and depression, and I was isolating myself before I passed. Do you understand that? Like, I disconnected myself from people. Do you understand that? No. Okay. This is how I'm feeling, so like, there's a sense of isolation, and he also makes me feel the sense of overwhelm. Would you understand, like, a lot of stress around finances and a feeling of overwhelm with him? Possibly. Okay, all right. And um, he immediately says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to you. And this? Yes. She our Wi-Fi is not that great, so there's like yeah, a delay. Yes, um, yes. So the, he's immediately saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I feel like I left you. I'm sorry I left you. And I'm sorry that I left such a mess for you to clean up. Do you understand that? Yes. So he's, he's deeply regretful and um, very sorry. And I feel that his passing also, there was like a level of impulsivity there too. Like with his pa- Oh, I lost you guys. Oh, we can hear you. You're, we can hear you. You are right on with us, but oh. yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you, Crystal? Do you understand what he's talking about, like the impulsivity around his passing? Yes. Okay, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I also feel that I didn't properly say goodbye. I did not properly say goodbye. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, I get that. Oh. And do you understand? This feels like to your side, so this feels like it would be a primary relationship. Was this a husband, um, a partner relationship? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and he's talking about the son. Does he have a son? Does he have a son? Yes. He has three, four. He has four sons. Okay. Um, I feel like I feel connected to this boy that is in the house. I feel, is he the baby? Uh, he is the third son. He's my baby. Okay, he's the third son? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no, I can't hear you at all. Oh, uh, we can, we we can, can hear, hear you. you. Yeah, everything you're doing, we're, we're right on. Okay. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, we, we lost you for... I can hear you. There you are. Okay. Okay. So you understand that he has... So he's talking about the son. I feel like it's the, the boy that's connected in with this house. Okay. Um, and I feel also I did not properly say goodbye to him. Would you understand that? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and that could apply to everyone, but he's really talking about this boy. Um, and he's telling me that that he he expresses his love to him for him, and he's talking about like the need to protect this boy, the need to protect this boy. Do you understand this? Yes. Yes. I'm to tell you. Thank you for having such a good relationship with him, such a good open relationship with him and communication, um, because it's like it's like you're his lifeline. Like you just really get him, and you're like he's saying you're doing a good job of protecting him. You're doing a good job of protecting him. Um, and I also feel this deep like regret and sadness that I cannot protect him more because I'm not in the physical anymore. I'm not in the physical, and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. For would you understand the month of September as being significant with him? A birthday, a passing, a move? Uh, uh, no. Okay. I'm getting September and January for some reason as being a highlight, as like an important month. Birthday, passing, move, or something important would have happened. I'm not sure why he's talking about um, those months. And would you also understand that your husband would have done, um, he makes me feel like his back hurt. He had pain in his back. So I don't know if he did manual labor. Maybe it wasn't my husband. Maybe it was my dad. I'm sorry, repeat that? Maybe it wasn't my husband. Maybe it was my dad. Because my dad died in September and he had a, he had a bad back. Yes. Okay, and did Dad work outside? Yes. Okay, all right, so then your father's coming in as well. So I have your husband here, and then your father is also coming in. Oh. Um, 
And your dad feels like he worked really hard his whole life, almost like a workaholic. He was just always working, always working. As you understand this, I just feel like I'm always busy. I feel like a busy body, always working. That sounds more like my grandfather. Okay. Let me keep going. If, okay. Let me keep going with what I'm getting from this person. This person also makes me feel like he wasn't the greatest with um, his words. He wasn't the greatest to tell you, oh, I love you, or you're doing such a good job. I feel like I'm kind of more quiet, more stoic, more to myself. You would understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay. And did one of these gentlemen, um, either your grandfather or your father, pass up like a heart attack or a chest issue? Uh, I, my grandfather, yes. Okay, all right. And, and was grandpa similar to dad with working really hard, working all the time, working outside, more manual labor? Yeah, yes. My grandfather, they both worked outside. Yes. Okay, okay, all right. Because I feel like they're very, these two are very similar. Um, and also very direct with their words. When they did talk, it was like to the point. Um, almost a little nerve-wracking. It's like, okay, we got to get in line. Um, I'm also feeling like I better, they're, there was a stubbornness about Grandpa. Did you get too? Yes. There was so much alike. Yes. So stubborn. It's my way. Um, this is this is how it's going to be, and you are not going to argue with me. That is like boom. You obey. You obey. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So also, Grandpa and Dad are coming through with your ex-husband about the need for protection for you in this house. They are wanting to protect. They are wanting to help out. Um, they are. They're, I'm feeling like they're also being misunderstood as well. Like okay. there's some type of blame, or like there's a misunderstanding about what's going on. But they're coming forward as protection for you. That's how they're presenting themselves to me. Presenting themselves to me. Okay. Okay. And do you have a? Do you sleep with like a baseball bat near your in your room near your bed? Do we? Have, yeah. Like? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're talking about like dropping that inspiration for that idea into someone's mind. So there's like that need oh. for protection that came from them to help protect. Oh wow. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Harley Quinn. Wait. What? Wait. Okay. All right. Oh no. Go ahead. Go. I can't hear very well. Just well, there's, up. yeah, there's some just chatter, maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, um, oh. Go ahead, Darren. Uh, could you explain the baseball bat thing again? Could you say that again, what you were picking up? I was picking up that, so Dan and Grandpa are so much alike, it's hard for me to separate the two of them, but one of them is saying that they inspired the thought or the idea for someone in the household to have a baseball bat in the room for protection. So that idea came from them. Okay, yeah, I, I get that. Sense? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, there's also, I feel like the husband coming forward and he's this is coming from him this message is like wanting and needing mental health support for you or everyone in your family someone in this house needs some support going through a lot of stress trauma intense emotion there's like this current of intense emotions that are happening in this house in this house and um, the need for support and the encouragement for you to do that and this is not something that the husband or even any of these gentlemen would have done on their own they're just more like, I can handle it myself type people. Yes, right. do you understand that? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm hearing, yes, we're supporting you. Get more support. Do what you need. We are trying to protect. But there's like some type of misunderstanding. And I'm also hearing, I'm not to blame. I'm not to blame. Would you understand that? I don't know. I'm not to blame. I'm not to blame. I, uh, I don't know. And would you also understand, um, last night when I was walking through your house, I was picking up on a, a gentleman who was older. 
older, um, and he looked like he was from a different time, and he was a very angry, angry person. Um, I know he abused alcohol. I don't know if you know who this gentleman was, but he felt connected to the property and quite possibly the house that was on that property before your home was built. Um, I, I have felt that in that energy, I guess, but I don't know who that is. You don't know? Okay, so you don't know him, but he is connected in with the house, and you have sensed him. Yes. Okay, and I don't know, I would assume that Darren and, and Ryan have shared some of the information with you that I said last night, but as I'm <clears throat> reconnecting in with him, this, this man, um, he really does not like women. He really does not like women. And he's very um, angry. He's a very like, chronically angry individual. And he would, he would have had some type of feeling of possession about this land, this property. Not technically your house, because from what they told me, like, it was built in 2000. I don't think he ever lived there. Mm -hmm. But the house before, and I've been talking to him, saying, why won't, why won't you move on? You know, you've passed away. Like, you know, it's time for you to move on. And he... He is adamantly telling me he was fighting for his property and he's not leaving. He also had said, um, I mean, I knew, I know he's a drinker and I know that he had domestic violence. I know he beat up on his wife. I know that he was just a very strong, very negative person. Um, and I have been trying to help him to move along and to realize that he's no longer physically here and that it's time for him to get forgiveness and move into the light and move into that. So I feel like that needs to happen in order to help. And I feel like also this connection here, this is the gentleman who your family, your husband and your father and grandfather are trying to protect you guys from is this man. Wow. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. It, they are trying to help protect you and guard you from this guy. Um, and so we need to, my recommendation would be that we need to be helping this man realize that he has no longer a purpose here in his soul in spite of what he did in this life in this physical life that he does deserve to move on to be reunited with his family in a place of forgiveness in a place of grace that's hard for us as humans to maybe offer especially when they wreak so much havoc but he needs to be at peace and to move into that light um, that is what I'm picking up he is the troublemaker here. He is the mm -hmm. troublemaker here. Okay, does that make sense to you? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Um, the Wi Fi is so, like, you guys are so blurry that if you nod your heads, I can barely tell. <laughs> okay. Um, Mandy, does this make sense to you then? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I can understand the, his rage. Trust me. I understand it. I felt it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. He is. Um, he's not. He's not a good guy. <laughs> no, he's not. No. I think he's really not. He's a, definitely a very flawed man, and he's just so angry. He has not been able to move out of that emotion at all. Um, okay. So as I reconnect in with husband and grandpa and dad I do feel it's like I said before a sense of protection and a sense of love and I'm also hearing a thank you a thank you from the husband maybe I feel like that's towards you for you stepping in and she cut out oh Lisa, 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 could thank you because you have been really trying to protect this family. Do you understand that? He's I, acknowledging that. Lisa, can you hear us okay now? You guys are totally gone. There's okay. Uh, there, I see you okay, all right. Could you repeat what I just said? Yeah, could you repeat the last 30 seconds? Because it was good. You were saying that. I can hear you, Darren, but enough. I don't. The yeah. guy doesn't want us to do this. Yeah. 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 He doesn't um, want him to talk to me. Mm -mm. Yeah, we, the last thing we heard was that he was thinking uh, Mandy for, and then that's when I it started. Mandy heard what I said. I no, did not. No, did we not. didn't. Okay. Mandy, he's, the husband is saying he's 
wanted to thank you because you have really been trying to protect Crystal and the son. And he's saying, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and he's acknowledging that on your part. Okay. And he's appreciative of that. And he wants you to know that he's working on it too, doing the best on his end of things. Okay. Appreciate that. Yes. Any help. Appreciate it. And he sends you a deep appreciation, a deep gratitude is what he's saying. Deep gratitude to you. Well, okay. I'll never replace him, but I can protect his son. Yeah. He's appreciating. He's saying thank you. Thank you. Welcome. And I, my timer just went up because I need to be somewhere else. So I'm glad yeah. that you were able to connect for this short amount of time. I hope this session gives a little bit of insight into what's going on. Um, and Crystal, he's saying, send my love to the boys. Send my love to the boys. Letting them to know he loves them. He loves them. He loves them. Okay? Okay. okay. I will. Okay. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, take bye. care. Bye. Bye bye. She hit it all right on the head. I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> that was not supposed to be on me. Look, uh, they, it's about you, though. It's about me. <laughs>